Um, I'm, I feel unbelievable. My uh, first UFC de debut, excuse me, um, to go in there and get a first round uh, KO is unbelievable right now. I'm on cloud nine. I'm enjoying it so much. Uh, I, it's still unbelievable. I'm still like, oh my God, am I really here? Am I even really in the UFC now? Am I really just got a knockout of the first round? It's just unbelievable. I'm on a super high right now. Why do you talk about having a uh, debut, having the Did you None. None at all. I've been around fighting forever. I was on the Ultimate Fighter. I think the Ultimate Fighter really got rid of those jitters because I went there, didn't know my coaches. I met my coach for 10 minutes. I had no idea I was fighting. You know, we usually study our fighters, see what they do. I had no idea what to get into. And when I went there, I really got rid of all those jitters. When I came in there today, it just felt like another day at the office. Jimmy, before the fight, you kind of spoke about everything coming full circle for you. Obviously, the same season you tried out for the Ultimate Fighter was the season Marcus Brimmings was on. Now, inside that, that off strong game at the same time, did you kind of feel a sense of adjustment? Um, uh, not judgment, I just thought it was ironic that we were fighting, that I got the opportunity to fight him. Um, it, it was a great, you know, Ultimate Fighter was a great experience. Fighting him was a, a privilege. I really, hands down, he's a tough guy and nice guy too. I really appreciate being able to fight him. Your father's the second fight in the evening. Um, he seems pretty uh, loud out there already. How was the atmosphere from the Scottish fans? Awesome. I love, I love that the Scottish fans are here. They're all about fighting. It doesn't matter who it is. They just want to see a good fight. I was actually super excited because sometimes back in the States, the seats aren't filled right away. Here, I know everybody's coming in to have the crowd there and have all that noise. That's my comfort zone. I love that. That's what I want. And how's fight week being in Scotland? Scotland's been awesome. I got to walk around, got to see the views and all that. Um, got to really enjoy the culture. I've been working on my cheers at the end of everything, cheers. So it's been great. It's been really an awesome experience. Your first time wearing the Reebok kit, what did you think of that? Uh, the Reebok kit's awesome. I loved it. Um, it's really cool. It's a really cool get up. It's uh, very comfortable. And uh, it's, I think all the new fighters coming in and the fighters now have something really to enjoy. I really, I really don't know uh, who I would like next is whatever the UFC puts in front of me. That's what I'm going to take. Uh, one step, you know, it's really one step at a time. After this, I'm going to fly back home, enjoy my birthday a little bit because I actually got the news on my birthday. So I'm going to eat a little bit tomorrow. I'm not going to lie. Then on Monday, I'm back in the gym working out again, waiting for the next call. Um, there's really no rest. Once I'm here, we sat down and talked a lot, my coaches and my uncle, about just training consistently, staying down low and everything like that. So I'm going to be right back in the gym on Monday, training again, getting right back into the groove of things. There's, there's really no break now. This is, this is my time. I have to take advantage of this time. I only have a few more years left of fighting, and I want to take full, full advantage of it. Um, I, I think it shows my potential. I, I hope it shows that I should be here right now. That um, you didn't get the, I didn't, you didn't call me for nothing. That I really represent myself, and this is, you know, it's my time to be in there and to start step by step, fighting one person at a time, and hopefully making my way to the championship. Because obviously, you're in the UFC, you want to fight for the belt, and that's what I want to fight for. Cheers, man.